Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Mike. And I'm Sam. And in today's video, we will be doing... <laughs> you gotta take part to this, you know. Um, <laughs> well, we're cooking dinner right now, but yeah. we're gonna be talking about clingy partners. Yeah. Yeah. Were we ever clingy? Eh, yeah. not really. Yeah. I don't think we were ever clean, but anyway, we're gonna get into this juicy topic. Stay tuned, keep on watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you want to keep seeing more videos of us. And don't forget to give us a like. Okay? Yeah. Don't so forget to give our, uh, like our videos. So while Mr. Muller is cooking, what are you making? I'm making our favorite meal from Florida. I don't even know if it's a Florida thing or if it's an yeah. East Coast thing, but like uh, they have a pollo tropical over there and yeah, the way he says that, say it again. Pollo tropical. That's how you say. Pollo tropical. Oh my god. <laughs> So I don't know. Yeah, I think it's Pollo Tropical only in Florida. Let's Google it. Is Pollo Tropical only in Florida? So it's a Cuban cuisine, I believe. And they do nice like rice, black beans. You can get chicken, you can get plantains, yuca. It's like Chipotle, but the Cuban style. And yeah, it's like, way, way better. Way better, way a lot way better. Yeah, <clears throat> I so. enjoy a lot better than Chipotle, I'm not gonna lie. If they Tropical. had a tro Pollo Tropical over here, I'll definitely Somebody else be... Googled it. Miami, Florida based. Yep. yep. So it's only out of Florida, unfortunately. So if They're you're ever gonna... in Florida, you're looking for something like Chipotle, make sure you check out Pollo Tropical. Pollo Tropical is over in West Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale, Miami. <laughs> that area saying? over there has it. <laughs> so he's using chicken thighs because yep. we couldn't find the chicken breast. Yeah, we couldn't Flat find beans, no chicken breast. Corn. I think the chicken is on uh, shortage. Like That's it, right? Um, Flat beans, coins, and some fried plantains. It's, oh. <laughs> you ain't gonna forget that part. <laughs> you ain't forgetting that part. Give me plotting. Excuse me? Give me plotting. You want a plotting? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Clingy relationship. Are you the clingy partner? Stop it. Now. Yeah, just go ahead and let it go. Cut it. That thing gets boring after a while. <laughs> It does so, get boring after a while. Yeah, so. Um, so nobody really want a clean your relationship. Yeah, I think. They want some free space, some free time. Your partner deserves space. Yeah. Each partner, whether you're the male or the female, you need space in the relationship. And whatever that space means for you, whether it's some um, self-care time, watch your own shows, go shopping by yourself, take yourself out to dinner, whatever the case may be. You need that alone time for yourself. But that's if you work on yourself, then you're better in the relationship. That's my opinion. So yeah. for me, I love watching my YouTube. I love watching my shows, the things I like, um, the more reality shows or love-based shows. He doesn't like to watch those. Nope. That's okay. He likes to come home, play his video game. That's okay in moderation. Yeah. In moderation. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> There's always got to be a time when the both of you guys get to like hang out yeah. and you have to dedicate that one day for her or for him mm -hmm. or for her or and do for things her. together. It doesn't matter. You know, try to do something together to spend time because obviously the more time you guys can spend with each other, you reconnect. I'm not, yeah, you reconnect. And I'm not talking about like always like this. Yeah, that's all, clingy all right day there. Long. No, that's no, clingy I'm right not, there. I'm not. Get no. up off of me. Yeah. Get, up off. get off me. <laughs> Get off me! So, <laughs> Can I breathe? Right? <laughs> so, you know, it's it's just a fact, it's just a matter of fact of finding that balance of where to actually stay cleanliness and when not to be cleanliness. You know what I mean? Yeah, so like, and that's okay. It's not saying that you don't want to cuddle and do those stuff. It just means that you should not depend on your partner so much where you're always up under them. Mm -hmm. Or let's say texting. We don't text each other all day. Nope. All day. <laughs> I could be at work and she would leave me alone. She wouldn't even bother to nope. text me. There's no need to check up on me. Like nope. if there the only was thing I need to know happen, is that you're alive. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then, you know, <laughs> in time to time she'll text. It's not like an everyday thing, but at the yeah. same time, you just can't. You can't Good sit morning. There and call them all the all the time. Like Got to work. Mornings, got to work. On my way to work. I'm stuff like to, that. Like either, like if. Because of my my job, you know, I do transport or whatever. 
if I go back to where we live, then I'll go ahead and let her know. But that's that's it. Yeah. There's communication. No, yeah, that's just letting her know, hey, you know, we're going here and then we're going we're gonna come back. And then when we get back to the office, sometimes I'll text her, sometimes I don't. When I'm heading home, I'll I'll let her know I'm heading yep. home. Okay, and that's it. Yep. If she wants to call Unless me, unless we can have call something to talk, talk about, yeah, yeah. That, that's it. That's pretty much it. <laughs> if we have something that we need to catch up on, or questions, whatever, whatever. But you do have those people sit there and twenty four seven on the phone with their partner, yep. arguing whether it's just talking, arguing whatever. But they're on the phone like as soon as they leave the house, as soon as they get to work, they're on the phone with their partner. No. Give him some space. He's trying to mow the yard. Let him, let him mow the yard in peace. Yep. <laughs> let him, let him shave in peace. Like, yeah. give him some space. Like, let no. Let him shit in peace. Yeah. I mean, let him poop in peace. <laughs> let him poop in peace. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's the way we like to do it. I've never been the clingy partner. Like, if we go out, like... We'll hold in sometimes, sometimes. But I hate seeing those then. couples. Am I the only one that hates seeing those people feel like they cannot get enough of each other? They're like yeah, literally that's, that's... down each other's throat in public. I hate seeing it. I don't that's know. Maybe much. it's just me. I just feel like maybe it's the young love or the fresh love. But I just feel like you don't have to do all that in public. Like nope. why you need to do all that? Why? There's no need. All that making It's like trying to prove just, a point. Yeah. <laughs> we know you together. We see the two of you at the movies. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't gotta be like, oh my god, oh my yep. god. Yep. <laughs> I think I think a lot of times people would like wanna be in like their relationships business so much as far as like phone goes. And it, it may not be in the same category, but I would say it is because technically... Like if going you, through if each other's wanna, phone? If you want to sit there and go through my phone, then that means you're trying to be cleanness. You want to be controlling. Yeah, you want to know everything that's life. going on. Like, that's not... That's like, not obviously, swear. we know each other's passcode. Yep. And if we need to go for... Like, might barely want to touch my phone. Like, no, I got to be like, look in there. Look. No. Look right there. All right. <laughs> All right, so white rice in the bottom. Corn at the top. I love corn, so I do extra corn on top. And then I love chicken, so I do chicken on top. Is that yeah. good? Okay. And then I put some plantains on the side, the ones that we uh, just cooked, some sweet ones. Some sweet plantains. Yeah. So, but yeah, that's pretty much on my meal for the night As before you guys I go bowling. Can tell we love to eat. Yeah, I love to eat. I think that's pretty much it for this quick video. I hope oh, you guys yeah, enjoyed it. it. Yeah. Little chit chat while we bake dinner. Didn't show much, but yeah, it's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, let me try the chicken. Mm. Season? Mm. Is it? Oh my goodness. Mm. Is it? Juicy. What? <laughs> I got a food coma. Anyways, being clean. <laughs> Anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as far as uh, what the video was about. If you guys have any questions, any concerns, you guys want to share your 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 side, your story. Are you clingy? Are you clean? Let us know. Are you clean? <laughs> Which one are you clean? Don't let us, don't, don't sit here and lie to us. Let us know. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave us a like down at the bottom. Subscribe to our channel. Comment <laughs> down below. Share with a family member. Share, share with somebody who you think that we could actually use this advice yes, and how sir. we feel about being clean. Because I hate it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> Ugh, look at this one. <laughs> Anyways, until next time, guys. See ya. Bye. Bye. What's up, guys? Oh, no. <laughs>